welcome back to our YouTube channel. Lots of people are confused on how to use say and tell properly. So for today's lesson, I will be discussing you the use of say and tell. We use say and tell in different ways in a reported speech. When we say reported speech, it is a report of what someone said. Okay, so say and tell are irregular verbs. The past simple of say is said, and the past simple of tell is told. Okay, so um, say focuses on the word of what someone said. For example, they asked if I was looking for a job, and I said yes. Said yes. We focus here on the word yes. Okay. So, um, tell focuses on the content of what someone said. For example, he told me how he had got the job by lying about his age. It is not the direct word of what someone said. It's about the content and the information of what someone said. Another example, he said hello. Said focuses on the word hello. Another example for tell, she told him they were going on a holiday. We focus on information of what someone said. Okay. So. Um, normally, tell takes indirect and direct object in a sentence. For example, they told us he didn't want any money. Us is our indirect object. He didn't want any money is our direct object. However, we use tell without indirect object with a word such as the truth, a joke, a lie, and a story. For example, you should never tell a lie. So in this sentence, we don't have indirect object. There's no us in this sentence. So you should never tell a lie, not say a lie. So it's wrong. It's correct. Tell a lie. Okay. Next. Say does not take indirect object in a sentence. Instead, we use to. Okay. For example, and then she said to me, I'm your cousin. To. Not and send me. It's wrong. Okay. So, that's all for now. Thank you very much and I hope you learned something from me. This is Teacher Amber again and see you again on our next video. I just wanna go back, back to